Hey, what's up? Back again. first bass note hit me in the chest and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures has his own YouTube channel. And this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And what is it live? Man, what's up? Yeah, you what? it's your boy. Back again. Let me say this. At this point, at the time of this video right now, this is not a paid promotion or advertisement for from on behalf of Matt's Pro Audio from them. This has happened per the synergistic way that I do things. I mean, I was sitting in my bed and scrolling through and I said, hey, hey, I remember Matt's from back in the day, man. They about old as I am. They still out there? Oh yeah, I remember I hearing some ProCast tens it, and then I looked to see if they had a wolf of deals in my niche, my genre, and they did the Dreadnought. So I bought it. I bought it from Area Forty One, South Cobb Parkway. These are my witnesses to attest to my statement. This is not a paid promotion, but I am highly interested in Max Audio. Let me tell you some of the reason why I'm interested in Matt's audio if some of y'all didn't know. He got some 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 claims on here that Mr. I think his name is David Thompson, that his uh Amplif he pioneered the BD Class D small footprint. And he has the dates to substantiate that. Uh and his amplifiers are known for their sound quality and the ability to remain 82% efficient at Full rate power and rated impedance. What I know about Max is they build quality products. And here's the kicker. They build quality products right here in the good old US of A. Yes, sir. Now, from the monster line to the juggernaut line. Oh, but not this line. Let me stand say this. The dreadnought line. Is mass produced in China. I guess you could say that's for uh, profitability purposes. Okay, I mean every every cardio company that you've ever had me had on this channel before I seek sought to become a dealer for them, uh, they have to remain profitable. It's all a business at the end, brother. Don't let nobody tell you no different. Ain't nobody going to love to bring you something if they ain't going to bring no get me no more. I love the fact that I'm bringing you the ability to hear these boxes. But if it didn't pay a dime, I wouldn't love it that much. <laughs> I'm going to die. I wouldn't have a time. I'm going to die. I wouldn't have a time, baby. Keep the buck with you. So with that being said, when I found, when I, I, I knew something about that, but I didn't know in depth of how far it goes with this manufacturing design and engineered everything except for the dreadnought line i believe i hope i didn't misspoke but if i did then y'all would hear it in the comments and i would just let y'all know yeah it's definitely a paid promotion <laughs> uh at this point like i say i'm um y'all know y'all come to my channel y'all see what's new uh it's not in the rehashing the same old things and I'm big on the Made in America thing. That's one of the reasons why I back DD. I'm big on the Made in America thing. That's one of the reasons why I back DC. These companies from the outset have been known for this, and that's what they do. Matt's fits the criteria to be stamped MBE. So at this point, I'm seeking them out, and I'm going to give them some exposure uh, here on my channel. So with that being said, let's get to the unboxing of, of this since we like to talk about H. Let's get to the unboxing of this Dreadnought 8. Now, like I said, it is his, it was told to me when I contacted him. Yes, this line here. Uh, I contacted him after I had bought the sub already from Area 41. I already bought the sub before I contacted him. So just to let them know that you're on uh you're gonna be on the channel. So they're gonna see this video. Before you see it, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. They're gonna see this video before you see it. And then this video gonna get released anyway. Because nobody owns me. 
So, what what I'm finna see when I take it out of the box for the first time is what you're gonna see as well. First thing we're gonna see is that they give you some kind of paperwork. Tell you the 8 inch high performance subwoofer, 700 watts power rating, uh, I don't know, it's a former copper wire voice coil, 1.8 winding width. When, they, when we say width, it's a 2.5 inch voice coil, but you say if you lay the voice coil on the side, how wide it is. So it's almost 2 inches of winding height, depending on how you want to look at it. Dual spring connectors, 15 meter top and bottom plates. Uh, 6.5 flat spider suspension with intensity leads. It gives you the 160 ounce double magnets. It gives you the width and how high they are. Flat bake plate with radius venting, the mounting depth. He says that this is the D4, so the FS is 43. That's nice. That's nice. Now this is this is this is okay. His vast is 54. Point Seven seven nine liters. QTS point four nine. I'm very impressed by that. Is this a misprint? Yeah, I think the yeah, I think the dust went the wrong spot. Yeah, dust went the wrong spot. That's why I'm looking at. Okay, That's it. it might be that happens. The QTS is point four nine. Moving mass is one hundred fifty eight grams. X mass of 31 millimeters. I'm I'm assuming that's peak to peak, so it's 15 millimeters of X max. Uh, I'm assuming. I don't think it's one one 31 one way. So that's nice. And then he has uh, his phone number. Make sure you contact a dealer for installation. Because one thing Max is big on is why they haven't up to this point really sought out the DIYers is because they really want you to get their products installed. Uh, a, a box built by someone that really knows what they're doing. You could put a thousand dollar subwoofer in a hundred and fifty dollars box, and you're gonna get seventy five cent worth of performance. So they big on that. Make that's why they call themselves Pro Audio. Make sure you get with somebody experienced in installing their equipment. Now I think maybe they want to take a little tick into seeing what the DIY market's about. Uh, yeah, I know, baby. It's gonna, this is going to be a long video because I can't really, I don't want to gloss over Matt Audio because they've been doing it for so long and they have so many things that they have influenced over the years throughout the industry that now we see on social media. So that's how long this video takes. But let's, let's go on and pull it out. Like I say, this is, is this is not the wolf. These is not one of the wolfers that's totally made. Nice coming, nice packaging. So we had a nice replicable build house in China build this he says this line is manufactured manufactured to his specs in China. The only line for profitability purposes is done like that. Okay. Uh all the rest of the stuff for Matt's is designed, engineered, and manufactured. All their subwoofers. Designed, engineered, and manufactured. All the rest of their subwoofers. Then all of the lines right here in the USFA. Matt's audio. Look him up. And he told you about it. Now check it out. So this is his mass produced eight that he has made. It has an open source tool basket. Like I said, he did that for, for profitability reasons. Uh to get his name out, to get something that can be sold directly to a consumer uh from his website. Uh and to keep certain costs down. Some of the engineering that he wants, to, that he does in his woofers here, he was able to have built at a build house over in China, but it's done to his specs. You can see the radius venting on the back of the back plate. Uh, it tells you the, the wattage, it's dual form, type. Uh, a lot of rotor, lots of radio vent holes there. Nice magnetic boot, top plate is 15. And the bottom, the bottom plate and the top plate is 15 millimeters. He, he's listed that. It seems to have one, maybe dual later or triple later spider that is appears to be, yeah, that's progressive roll. Uh, and you know, should be the glue. Nice thick tensile leads. Has a cutout, obviously of seven and three eighths. 
you go top night and spend a lot of money on the gasket, but it will suffice to seal the wolf into the enclosure. I like the angle of the surround. I've noticed that those who have used the surround, you do get a nice bit of punch. But, and I'm gonna tell you what makes these wolfers that may look appear similar, there's different is the, is, is the key thing. The thickness of the windings, and whether it's a flat round, aluminum, or copper coil. So the, the sound signature of a woofer is sometimes you can't, don't be belied just, well, it's got the same basket in B. Yes, I do not particularly like this basket, but I know what this line is for. And he told me this is his probability line. So it's going to be mass produced. The lines that are made in America are similar to like other manufacturers. Does they cost more? And you remember, I tell y'all, y'all my subscribers, on my channel it costs what it costs. It costs. If you want the sound, you want to do the things that I do inside my truck with eights. It costs what it costs. So with that being said, we're gonna see what this will sound like. I expect big things. I expect the deep, resounding, deep bass with great emphasis that Matt is known for. Uh, next, we're going to do the free air testing. Then we're going, I'm going to hear the enclosure, let you hear the enclosure. And then we're going to see if you qualify to make it to that trip. Peace. Get up. You need a box, man. 446 now, 44818. And as always, listen responsibly. Hold on, boo-boo. Let me know. Let me get a little closer to this, this boy. Handsome. It's got a little more health to him than other wolf have been using his eye. He got, definitely got a thickness to him. I know them, I know them mask guys say, oh, boy, he really is bringing that real out. <laughs> he really am bringing that real out. Peace.